Hi, I'm Natalie and today I'm going to make a gluten-free and vegan vanilla cake with a lime buttercream and a blueberry filling. That will be so delicious that it will not only outshine its glutinous cousins, but will fool anyone to think it's the real deal. So I decided I'm going to start now adding some of the gluten-free vegan cake recipes and quite frankly experiment since I don't know much about vegan and gluten-free baking to this channel. I have had a lot of vegan cakes and to be honest, there are a bunch of them which taste pretty horrible. They look gorgeous, you bite into it and the first reaction I have is ugh. I definitely want to make vegan cakes which are gluten-free, which are delicious, which everybody can enjoy. Everybody who is vegan and gluten-free, people who are just vegans, people who are not vegan and eat gluten, but they still have a great experience and really enjoy eating that cake. That's important to me. And if you'd like to learn more about gluten-free baked deliciousness, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I have a book out. It is on Kindle Unlimited, and so it's free if you have that subscription, and it's called Gluten-Free Sugar Gasm. Let's get back to make my vegan vanilla cake. And I'm gonna get started with measuring my flours. And I listed my gluten-free pound cake flour combination on the left-hand side. I'm gonna add 200 grams of sugar, 100 grams of vegan butter, half a teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of baking powder, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, I also measured 175 milliliters of water and I'm going to add now six tablespoons of ground flax seeds and that is going to be my egg replacement. And for my gluten-free vanilla cake, I need the flax seeds actually to glue together the dough. I'm going to quickly steer that. So I ran out of flax seeds and I need one more tablespoon. And I just found it easier to grind my own flax seeds because it is sometimes challenging to find ground flaxseed meal, which is ground in a gluten-free facility. And I ground my flax seeds using one of the coffee grinders. So here's my ground flax seeds. I needed one more tablespoon. Here we go. So I'm gonna add now my flax seed eggs, and I need also to add 270 milliliters of vegan milk. And I'm using here some coconut milk, but I ran out of it. So I'm using some gluten-free oat milk. I'm going to add now the oat milk and coconut milk combination to my mixing bowl. And you can use any kind of vegan milk. So you can use coconut milk, hemp milk. I actually love hemp milk. Hemp milk has this really nice creamy flavor. It's really good. And I'm going to use my handheld mixer to combine the ingredients. And I'm going to add last but not least one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar which will help the dough to rise. So here are my three baking forms. I'm going to add the cake liner into each of the pans and I'm going to divide my batter now into those three pans and I'm going to bake those cake layers for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I'm going to check if they're done or if they need some more baking time. And I'm going to bake them at 325 degree Fahrenheit. Here's my baked vanilla cake and I'm going to release it with a cake spatula and then flip it onto a cooling rack and let the cake cool down. So while the cake is cooling down, I want to make my blueberry cake filling. So I bought some frozen blueberries and I defrosted them. And I'm going to put them now into the pot and let the blueberry heat up. I'm also going to add a teeny bit of water to my blueberries and that normally helps cooking the blueberries in a little bit faster. I also like to sweeten the blueberries a teeny little bit so I'm going to add 50 grams or a quarter cup of sugar to the blueberries and I'm going to steer them. To make my filling I need to thicken up the blueberries a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about two tablespoons of corn starch and now I'm gonna add some of those blueberry juices to the cornstarch and I'm gonna mix now the cornstarch in the bowl until it's completely dissolved and it looks like I need a little bit more juice and now I'm gonna pour the cornstarch to the blueberries and you can see how the blueberries now thicken up. So I want to take it off the heat and I do want to add some lime to my blueberry. I added about one tablespoon of lime juice and I just tasted the blueberries. I think I'm going to add about one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to set the filling aside and in the meantime make my buttercream. 
to prep for my buttercream I want to squeeze out a little bit of more lime juice I also want to use some of the peel of a lime so I'm gonna add 250 grams of butter to my mixer and whip the vegan butter until it is soft and now I'm gonna slowly add about 500 grams of powdered sugar you can see now how well the vegan butter and the sugar got combined into a buttercream. And now I'm going to add a little bit of my lime juice to give me that lime flavor. What happens with the stand mixer is that on times you have to move the butter around a little bit to make sure it gets all well combined. And I'm going to add a little bit of the peel to it just to intensify the flavor even more. Mmm, tasty. That's a really nice lime buttercream. So I'm gonna remove the buttercream from the stand mixer and it's time to assemble the cake. And I'm gonna put a mat on it so my cake plate doesn't move around. I'm gonna add a little bit of buttercream to the bottom of my cake bottom before I'm gonna place the cake on it to avoid it from moving around. I'm gonna add now my blueberry filling. And you can see when the blueberry filling cooled down, how it thickened up. I'm going to place my second cake layer on the top of it. And now I'm going to press very carefully to squeeze the blueberries to the edge of the cake. And I'm going to add now the first layer of buttercream onto the top of the second layer. And try to spread it as evenly as possible. I don't want the layer to be too thick maybe a centimeter or half an inch and here's my assembled blueberry lime cake and i need to add now the crumb layer to make sure the filling doesn't ooze out and i'm gonna add some buttercream to the top of the cake so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the cake now into the freezer for 20 30 minutes for the buttercream to harden up and then i'm gonna finish the cake I just took out the cake from the freezer and, and as you can see the butter is pretty stiff to touch and that's great because it's now much easier to finish the cake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread the buttercream to the edge of the cake. It's great to have a small little cake spatula because it can definitely help you with the refinements of the cake. When I want really sharp edges I can use also this cake scraper to create that edge. The last thing to do for the final decorations is to add fresh blueberries to the top. So I'm going to press the blueberries into the buttercream to prevent them from moving. If I would have some vegan gelatin available, I would pour it now over the blueberries to make sure the blueberries stay set. And here is the finished vegan gluten-free blueberry lime buttercream cake. So let's check if my cake is also meeting my taste requirements. Oh, this is a tasty cake. Can I taste that it's gluten-free and vegan? And the answer is yes. I am very confident though with the flavor palette between lime, blueberries and the vanilla that my friends who are not gluten-free and not vegan will enjoy this cake as much as my vegan and gluten-free friends. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this cake with all of your family and friends at the party. I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye!